Hi everyone, in today's video, I have decided to put together some of the outfit hacks that are my go-to for a more polished look. So without any further ado, let's get started. Heels are the best, but when they are tight, it's a nightmare. And especially when they are pointed toe and your feet don't have that extra breathing room. One hack that I always use is to tie all my fingers except the thumb and pinky toe with a band-aid so that they stick together and create that extra space for my feet. This makes my life so much easier and I can easily walk in heels for hours. If you love tying your t-shirts in a knot, then this hack is for you. I have seen so many girls making the mistake of tying their shirts in a double knot like the way that I'm doing right now, but this actually ends up looking very clumsy. For a more polished look, make sure you create a loop first and then insert the other end into this loop before you make it tight. This way, the knot will look more clean and will last you longer. Another hack to make your t-shirt into a crop top is to fold the two ends together and tie with an elastic band. Tuck the extra fabric and you will see that this stays put all day long and is much better than going for the conventional method of tying a knot. And if for some reason you don't want to tuck in your shirt and avoid that extra bulge in your jeans around the waist, then tie a shoelace around your waist and tuck in the extra fabric into it. And this way you get a crop look and also don't have to worry about tucking in your shirt every time you want to pee. Wearing a button down shirt can be tricky especially when it's too tight around your chest and creates this weird looking gap. One hack that I use is I always wear a cami underneath which creates this extra layer and the fancy lace also provides an extra coverage for the cleavage. Try to wear a same color for a more put together look. I think this looks much better than just wearing a shirt. I also keep some of the few buttons undone at the top to make it look more stylish. Sometimes I do like to adjust the length of my jeans according to my outfit, but folding a wide leg denim can make it look baggy. To make sure I achieve a clean look, I use an elastic band, adjust its height, and tuck the extra fabric into the band. This is a long lasting and more polished option. But if for some reason you still want to fold them, then make sure you grab both the ends and fold them first. This will keep that extra fabric out of your way and make the fold as tight as possible to last you the whole day. Let's also talk about how sometimes the jeans can be too tight on the waist. I use this hack all the time where I put an elastic band around the button and into the hole and then use the band to make room for that extra donut. I find this hack very helpful for some of my old jeans that are now obviously too tight but I don't want to throw them out. You know, sometimes the belt is either too short to reach all the belt loops or too long that it looks weird. For such situations, I have a perfect hack for you. An elastic band is the star of this video, so let's use it again and put it in the belt. 
Secure the extra flap in place by putting it into this band. I didn't have a transparent band handy but I feel they work best for this hack. Short clothes, especially skirts, can be tricky. My skirts don't stay put, no matter what. So I use a good quality fabric double tape to make sure they don't move. But make sure you also give some extra breathing room when placing the tape. I feel couple inches above the skirt hemline is the perfect place. This hack has definitely been a lifesaver. I use the same technique for off-shoulder tops to ensure that the sleeves stay where I want them to. One thing that makes an outfit look old, dirty and cheap is lint. Always make sure to remove the extra lint using a lint roller. It can make a huge difference in how your clothes look. You can clearly see the difference between the before and after and how much fluff this lint roller picked up. And just in case, if you don't have the roller, a packing tape is a good alternative. I really hope that you find this video helpful and if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!